Yes, we are celebrating the 100th meeting of the All Flyers group here today, and it's been a decade since this group came to be. A warm welcome to Brian John, who's the uh, founder, one of the founders of this group, and is here today. Uh, we also have in, amongst this uh, gathering here, representatives of the people who were there at the first time. John Douglas, Kate, who's Hal Sutton's daughter. Kate, would you like to put your hand up? There she is, beautiful. Rosalie Hamilton, Roy's daughter. Why? Wife, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Take the compliment. <laughs> Take the compliment. They don't come very far. Um, like Roy, I'm holding my age well. Okay. Thank you. Stan Schur, of course, and Brian Hernan. Did I miss anyone amongst that illustrious group who were here at the 2003? We'll be right. We'll be right. <laughs> we'll be right. No, I don't think he was. <laughs> he, he was otherwise engaged. <laughs> And a warm welcome to our keynote speaker, uh, Geoffrey Thomas, Aviation Editor of the West Australian. You might know his work, you see it on TV and in the paper, very well respected journalist. To Peter Martinovich, Executive Director, Infrastructure and Planning and Land Services of the Public Transport Authority. And Peter's going to give a talk too. I do have those questions about uh, the rail transport to Perth Airport handy. Did Chris Watts make it? No, he didn't. No, Chris... Uh, He's got too much work to do. <laughs> He's a public servant. What could I say? <laughs> but we are celebrating the 100th meeting, and I produced, along with Stan and Brian, a booklet to mark the occasion. Particularly important because in there is a list of the talks that we've been privileged to hear over the last 10 years. Uh, who would think there'd be so many and under such um, so many interesting subjects? However, there are five uh, meetings that we don't have DVDs for. I think Stan today has pointed me to some we might have, but if you see a, a, lit, a, a name there with uh, not a yes, does that make sense? Where there's no yes against it, indicating it's been converted to our YouTube channel, then I'd love to get that DVD. Uh, talking about the YouTube channel, we've now had eight, no, nearly 9,000 hits since the time it's been put up and over 500 hours worth of video that people have enjoyed. So these meetings go far and wide, not just amongst our group, but uh, to the wider aviation interested audience. And through that, of course, we're interacting with people uh, who get to know about us. But let's go back to 2003 when this group met for the first time. Who was the Prime Minister? Oh, good. Uh, it was John Howard. And we had Geoffrey Gallup as the WA Premier. And that year we had three Governor Generals. Yeah, we, that's right. The Iraq War begins. Uh, there was an attempted hijacking of a Qantas 1737 when the passengers and crew disarmed the culprit. Um, when Perth Airport was serving 6, 000, oh, sorry, 6 million people for the year, voted then Australia's best airport, and Geoffrey will probably tell us what happened to that statistic. <laughs> <laughs> the Airbus A380 was another two years away before it's made in flight, the Dreamliner another six years away. Do you remember Steve Fawcett? Yeah. Yep, took off from Northern uh, in a balloon and broke three world records, landing later in, in the first non-stop flight around the world in Queensland and the, reaching 320 kilometres per hour in a balloon. I guess he found the jet stream. Uh, the space shuttle Columbia, regretfully, disintegrating over Texas as 200,000 feet on re-entry, when petrol was 77 cents a litre. Oh, the exchange rate, 64 cents to the dollar. And the All Ordinary Index, 3,306, and I saw a drop today and I just gave up when it reached 4,900. Even though it's up 66 cents, 66 percent since 2003, it's still disheartening. But of course, the global financial crisis was still years away, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to break with tradition today, because of the lack of time. We are going to accept apologies, so I apologise. That there are no apologies. I, I regret that if someone couldn't make it through illness or otherwise, but we promise that with these talks on the internet. They will be able to catch up at a later stage. And so we come to guests, and now we're going to have a, a, a heap of guests today. 
My personal guess is that Neville Murphy has already signed up. Would you like to stand up, Neville? <laughs> he's been taking photos. Thank you very much, Neville. Taking photos around the place and he's already signed up as a member. Uh, retired as the principal of Lord Lake Senior High School Campus. Did I get that right? Replace soon. Uh, I think we can get a talk out of Neville. His younger days spent at Maylands watching Tiger Moths. I don't think there was a Hay Street Mall in those days. His first flight was with Jimmy Woods and he remembers winding up the undercarriage in that answer. <laughs> a member of the Sports Aircraft Builders Club at Serpentine. And interestingly enough, considering what we're talking today about, he is involved in the website development and I'll give him a free plug of a thing called Wing Australia Net, which will showcase, showcase Perth Airport. So I'm going to open it up to the floor to uh, ask people if they have guests to announce them. Hop on their feet. Uh, Mark Evans, the Member of Parliament for the State Legislature and uh, hopes to be induced as the Speaker of the House next week. Thank you. Welcome, Mark. Thank you. These microphones don't work too well directly underneath the speaker in the ceiling. Uh, Mr Chairman, uh, you've already uh, spoken of the presence uh, of uh, Kate Donkin. Uh, she was uh, delighted uh, on uh, receiving the, uh, the booklet to read uh, of Hal, uh, Hal Sutton, uh, being uh, one of the initiators of this magnificent club and also to see his uh, photograph uh, on uh, page uh, three. I think uh, she would remember those early days when this group consisted of uh, just those three people. And so I think uh, Kate uh, would be doubly pleased. First, because the club has been so successful it's survived to its 100th meeting. And secondly, because of the attendance to see it grow from three people to 100 people. Now, Hal uh, also was my uh, cousin, and so Kate and I have had a quiet toast uh, to his memory. So for all those reasons, I'd like you to welcome Kate with applause. Thanks, Brian. Uh, good afternoon. It's um, my pleasure to welcome Terry Burcock and Terry's wife, Lynn. They're visiting from Melbourne. Uh, Terry's a um, Royal Victorian Aeroclip pilot um, been there since 1991. He's a member of the of the Flying Scholarship Committee for that club. Uh, he's an air judge and um, a keen supporter of the Young Eagles uh, initiative, which you would think would make him uh, a bit like Malcolm Yeo. However, Terry comes originally from down around uh, Anglesey, which ma makes him a Geelong supporter. <laughs> However, he does he does know who Polly Farmer is. <laughs> but I think with the map, he'd probably find West Perth as well. So um, Terry enjoys this sort of fellowship, and I'm hoping that, uh, that he'll be able to share this today and uh, also take back some ideas for the Victorian era club. Terry Burcock and Lynn. I might also add that uh, Western Australia knocked off Victoria in the ALAC last week. <laughs> I'd like to introduce my friend Les Wern. Um, Les Wern's association with flying goes back a long way, right to the Second World War, when he joined the uh, RAF. Got it right? Yep. And started his training at Cundedon. We all know where Cundedon is, on the old Tiger Moth. And um, when that was finished, they sent him to Canada. Not many people have heard of going to Canada, but anyway, mm -hmm. he went to Dunsville, Canada, to finish his uh, training on Harvards, or we call them Texans here, do we? No, no, and um, yes, they were. there he met his lovely wife, uh, so he has a lot of memories about Canada. Um, Les has written a book, and if we do the right thing, he might even give us a bit of a talk about all his experiences, which are many. So I'd like to introduce uh, Les Wood and uh, hope we see him again. Stage, I'd like to 
and I hope to Brian Hearn for the rest of the proceedings. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Quickly go through a backward glance what we've had. Um, you've got a list of the shows, uh, the speakers, etc., in front of you. But I thought I'd just quickly flash past what we've done uh, in this group over the, the 10 years. We've talked about the first balloon flight, the first aeroplane flight, the first aircraft built in Western Australia, the Kalgoorlie biplane. We've talked about West Australian Airways. We've talked about our pioneers, Sir Norman, Harry Baker, Jimmy Woods, and others. Uh, not very often you get a chance to hear a talk from a pilot who's been hijacked. Um, the hijackers spread petrol throughout the aircraft and threatened to uh, burn it uh, with passengers on board. Not a very happy episode. And that was uh, from Sturdy Jordan, an ex-MMA pilot, uh, before he moved to the Middle East. Carol and Winton Rhodes talked about her flying family. I think it should have been called the Funny Family. Her grandfather flew for the Luftwaffe in World War I and II. Her father flew for the RAF in World War II. And she was a 737 captain and a lecturer and instructor at this establishment here. So, what a funny family that is. <coughs> the talk that really hit me uh, was that one. Equally, I was impressed with uh, Keith Rodiger's talk on how he developed a system for shooting down uh, V1s, <coughs> and it was adopted by the RAF. And many of you will remember Patrick Evans' talk about uh, being a glider, being towed across the Rhine, and being number 73 in 400 gliders on uh, Operation Varsity, I think it was. He got a standing ovation. You may remember that. <coughs> Bruce Gaston talked about the very long range <coughs> liberators being used on the uh, uh, Mid Atlantic Gap and putting pay into the uh, German U boats. Brian Wally gave us a good talk about how they <laughs> combined dry biscuits, uh, packet fruit to make a Christmas cake. He said it tasted like chicken. <laughs> Not everyone got a chance to talk to Ruth Adams, or a dozen of us came down and had a special lunch with her. She was an ATA pilot delivering maintained and new aircraft to squadrons uh, during World War II. Uh, her favourite aircraft was a Corsair, and uh, she loved to do twinkle rolls, um, even though they were really evil. Great lady. You might rem remember Bonner Bailey. <coughs> trips to Warsaw, Northern Italy, and two trips to Paris to pick up perfume, lingerie, <laughs> and other accoutrements in World War II in his personal Hurricane aircraft. <laughs> Can't work that one out. Peter Yates had the job of flying the Wiley Mustang. What a dreadful job that would have been. <laughs> Brian Floyd, <coughs> who apologised for not being here today, that's correct, isn't it? He tells me that he flew into Kai Tak when they just upgraded it from a uh, cabbage patch and finally uh, flew 747s in there. And Graham Hartree's talk on uh, the polar route uh, from the Middle East to the western coast of America uh, over the North Pole. So thank you to all of our speakers. I've only, as I said, mentioned a very few uh, they're all notable, uh, every single one of them.